Hello, friends. Welcome back to Collecting with Stan. And today, today I'm going to do something that I don't see a lot of love for this traditional knife pattern. It's an open tag, and I'm going to do a couple doctor's knives. The open tag is uh, two for Tuesday. And uh, uh, Tom over at Knife Delights it says, pick two knives and just talk about them. Talk about what you like. Well, I decided to compare them, show them. I got two Beautiful doctor's knives here. Uh, first off, we'll start with a Rough Rider. This is, they call their sparkle pattern, as you may understand why. It has the RT bolsters, crimp bolsters, and just, in my opinion, beautiful. I know a lot of people don't like the R bolster, but it doesn't bother me at all. Um, oh, man, I got, a, got some gunk on it. Sorry, I didn't, should have wiped it. I got to get in the habit of double checking the knives before I take show them it's not the knife maker's fault as a stand's fault but you know beautiful build no gapping or if there is it's absolutely very limited uh, you got your main blade here which is this oh this has half stops too beautiful you can see your tang right here it says rough rider pops in nicely uh this is the oh i think i'm gonna have to say it well, you can see some of the writing and stuff, but it's a RR2014 made in China, 440 stain, razor sharp steel. Um, love the swedging on the blade right there. I think that's pretty cool. I like the way they do that. It does have a nice half stop, just popped in there and then closes nicely. Now we'll get to the secondary, which is just a nice pen blade. Again, got nice swedging. Uh, this just has the RR Tang stamp. Pops in very nicely there. Um, and, you know, for me, I have really big hands. And, you know, this is a good, so this is about a, uh, as far as length, about a Sodbuster Junior length-wise. Uh, but just a nice knife. Half stop again. But this is a non-traditional. This is a different, because a traditional, this one, the main blade you'd have, and then you'd have a... Uh, a, uh, uh, what am I trying to say here? Um, a pill breaker or a spatula, as they call it. And the reason that these butts are solid like that is that's for if you're making a powder back when you was a doctor back in the old days, you'd take the pill and powder it down, be able to pound it down. But pretty cool. I must put this away without cleaning this up at all. There's all sorts of compounds still on it. I'll have to clean that one up. Next up, though, we have this beautiful buck. Yeah, that's right. A buck doctor's knife. Pretty cool. I love, look how that looks almost like one piece. Uh, the, the just beautiful build and fit and finish on this knife. I mean, the Rough Rider was not bad at all. Don't get me wrong. I like Rough Rider, but this thing here, this is just, does not have half stop or does it? Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah, kind of lazy half stop. This is the buck 228. Um, we'll pop her, let you see the. There you go. We'll pop her into the half stop. I don't know if that's really a half stop. Well, the spring does level out. That's usually the sign of a half stop. So I'm thinking it's got a half stop. It's just really lazy. The secondary on this one is the spat. Oh, yeah, this does have a half stop. Is the spatula. Say, so, yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know if I want this stuck in my mouth after it's in somebody's pocket all day, especially back in the day. Here comes old Dr. Stan. Hang on, let me get my charm to back out. Stick. I'm oh, sorry. But back in the day, they did what, what they had. I'm sure the doctors sanitized it. We'll hope anyways. But this is just absolutely beautiful. Yeah, these have half stops. It's just a lazy half stop on the front bridge. But look at that beautiful. This is just wood. Um, it's just just it's just beautiful for a simple knife you know um and i know uh, you know pretty much every traditional pattern has a reason it was made uh the usage you know hence what their names are doctor's knife doctors carry this because they could crush the pill they could uh cut the pill they could help a person if they had to they could use this as a they could also use it as a little thing like you know putting the pills over counting them um yeah, just really cool knives. I have a decent collection of doctor knives. Right now, the ones I can see counting these, I got two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12 of them. And there just doesn't seem to be a lot of love for doctor's knives. I don't know why. Um, maybe, I, I guess that maybe they're just so, like, quote, unquote, specialized, you know. I mean, in modern times, what are we going to use that for unless, like, you're a pharmacist or something? I mean, stir your tea, coffee or your tea. You know, so that might be why there's not a lot of the love. Maybe I should start a, ta a tag out there, you know, start, show Stan your doctor's knives or doctor, doctor, give me the news, you know, or something. I don't know. I'll have to figure out something, but it's kind of cool. I just, I like doctor's knives. I think they are a really neat piece of history, uh, you know, that was used, that was really used. You know, doctors used these back in the day. And I, I just think that's really cool. There you can see the differences in the end. And then some of them that are not made quite as well have an end like that that's open where you wouldn't want that because you'd get your um, pills stuck up in there and stuff as you're pulverizing them, you know. But, yeah, I'll get these blades opened up so we can take a look-see at them before we put them away. And then um, I just want to say thank you all for checking this out. I uh, I appreciate it when y'all stop by for a few minutes. It's uh, it's fun. I enjoy sharing these this stuff with you guys and gals. So there we go. A couple of beautiful doctor's knives. What do you think about that? Two different styles, you know, one with a pen blade and one with a, the spatula, which is more traditional. I thought it's pretty cool. Well, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday. I recorded this Monday, so I'm hoping I'm having a good Tuesday <laughs> also. Uh, but with that being said, thank you all so much for joining in. Let me know what you think about doctor's knives. You know, is there a reason that they don't get a lot of love? Is it just, like I said, just maybe too specific of a pattern? I don't know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I truly do appreciate it. I love you guys' comments. With that being said, live long, prosper, and remember, collect your own way.